This is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do a mail merge using Microsoft Word. My data source or mailing list is Microsoft Excel. I have 35 customers because the first row is a header row. Notice cell D1. Also notice the name of the worksheet, customers in the bottom left corner. Just going to close this out. So put your data in Excel. Go to Word. Mailings. I'm going to end up with three videos, and they're all going to be separate videos, so I'm going to show you how to do letters first. Start mail merge, letters. The other two videos will cover envelopes and labels. Select recipients. Use an existing list. This is the, the Excel file you created. And then it's going to ask you what worksheet did you use. Customers. It'll occasionally put a dollar symbol after it. No big deal. Hit OK. And now type your letter. I'm making up a date. Press enter ever how many times you like. I want to put in the address of the customer this is going to. That's going to be address block. Notice that it does not show when I go through here the street address. So click on match fields. These are the fields required in Word. These over on the right are my fields from Excel. So address 1 was my street address. So address 1, street. That is how you do that. Hit OK. And now you can see that the street address is in there. Click on OK. It puts in an address block. That is a field. And then you can put in regarding. I'm making something up and then type your letter. I'm going to do equals R A N D open and close parent. And inside this letter, I want to let them know how they found out about us to purchase the product. So insert merge field advertising and then what they purchased. So I'm just putting in fields from my data source item purchased and I'm going to click on preview results there's Scott magazine Sky Viper look at some other records right up here using the arrows going back and forth and it appears to be working if you notice the line spacing Microsoft Word since Word 2010 the spacing is no longer single space so I'm going to select this information down through here, go to the Home tab, Paragraph, Before and After, set at zero points, and make it single space. Now it'll be back to the old line spacing. So then I can press Enter to get regarding on a line, Enter, and that looks better. I'm going to go back to Mailing. Turn off preview results. I want this to be bold and this to be bold and italics. I'm just showing you how to do this. Preview results. It's looking pretty good. And then the final step, if you notice in the bottom left it says page one of one. This is my master document. Hit finish and merge. Edit individual documents and hit OK and it'll make a new Word document called Letters 1 and it'll have 35 pages when it's done. There you go. And this is what you print out. If something's missing, as an example, at the bottom of the letter I didn't put uh, sincerely in my name. Close this. Don't save it. Back here, and I would hit finish and merge again. And one last thing I want to discuss, I'm back on the master document, is I'm going to edit the recipient list. And you can sort and filter in here, and I'm going to sort. I want state to be first. Then I'm going to sort by city. And then my third priority is going to be last name. I'm going to hit OK. And if you look in here, you can widen this. California, 
will show up before Connecticut, Illinois, San Diego, before San Francisco. I'm going to hit OK. Finish and merge. Edit. OK. And once again, if everything's perfect, I would end up printing these 35 letters. And page 1 is California. Page 2, 3, and page 4. And we end up getting from California, we go from... I meant to show you this. We go from San Francisco, San Diego, so it is working. So that, that covers letters and mail merge, and I'm going to have separate videos on how to do labels, which can get tricky because they don't always come out right, and then I'm going to do also envelopes. So check my YouTube for those. Thank you.